Hey guys. Hey there. How's it going? We're only two minutes late today, so everybody can calm their toots out there. Calm your toots. <laughs> calm your toots. But we did, we have been uh, rearranging. We kind of had a, a tiny mass exodus from this room of most of the people that worked in here. And now it's just Tony left. So Tony is now there instead of there for anybody that's curious and knows the layout of the room. We're seeing how this goes. I can't see him anymore. We thought that we could see each other better, but now I kind of have to look around the light and like look around a monitor and I don't know. We'll figure it out eventually. We'll we need see a what camera happens. on him. I know, we need a Tony cam. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, you probably can't even hear me as well anymore since I'm all the way over here. <laughs> He's in Chad's spot. So in any case, we're doing some rearranging um, up here at Springfield Leather, which will be fun here in a couple weeks when everything is settled. And who knows, maybe we'll paint or something. It's going to be great, as always. Sure. That's right. Sure. What is it? It's, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. All righty. Well, Denny has been playing with some watch bands for the last few weeks. And he has made two. Look at how much practice Denny has put into this project. <laughs> I'm a practicer. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> but in any case, so he's going to do a little watch band for us. Tony, I believe that we have like a PDF download of the pattern. No. Oh, you've already downloaded the pattern? Nope. No. Nope. I haven't done anything with it. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, then maybe on Friday we'll have that. Um, oh, cool. that's fun. Okay. Hey, somebody just subscribed. Ooh. Cedar barrel leather. That's so exciting. Uh, oh, Robert votes for a Tony cam. <laughs> I actually think that, that might be fun. We'll have to see. Cool. We'll see. Yeah. All righty, Denny. Well, why don't you do your okay. thing now that I've done doing well, my thing? First thing I'm going to do, I'm, I usually don't do this, but since this, since this is pretty lightweight leather, I'm going to tape the back of my leather before I cut it out. Okay. Oh, before you cut it out? Yeah, before I cut it. Okay. I think it'll make things. Easier. So while we're while we're talking about leather, what thickness of leather do you have? Uh, for the top, the main part, the part that I'm going to tool, it's going to be four to five ounce. Okay. And for the liner, it's going to be three to four ounce. Okay. And of course, we're using some fantastic Herman Oak. Yes. Yes, Herman Oak leather. Okay. Now I'm going to dampen this a little bit. A lot. And then this pattern, uh, we've got four parts to this pattern. We've got uh, the billet end and the buckle end on the finish side, and then the, the two liner parts. Okay. Mark these out. And I think we're having a set of clicker dies made for this. Well, I actually think that we're going to wait a minute. <laughs> oh, are we? Yeah. Okay. We're going to see. I think we might try a couple different patterns and do some acrylic templates instead of just going straight to the cutting dies. Okay. And we'll see um, how they do. Move the room around and you get quiet, Liz. No. Well, I'm working on it. Stand up for this. Okay. Now I'm going to cut. Got to stand up to cut it out. Getting serious. Here we go. Does it come in colors? <laughs> get it at SLC. Oh, Dean. Oh, Dean. What did Dean have to say? What kind of tape is that? This is just plain old packing tape. Probably not even the expensive kind. Well, no. I mean, you can go overboard if you want to. <laughs> it just tape. Yep. Uh, a lot of people would use blue painter's tape. I like this packing tape myself. Yeah. It's pretty definite. Painter's tape, it always seems like it doesn't stick as well as I would like. Well, I think that's the whole point of it. Well, yeah, 
But the point of taping the back of it is so that it does take. Right. For me, anyway, that's the way I feel about it. I do actually think that we sell it here, don't we? Packing tape? Yeah. Yes. We s I know we sell masking tape, like little rolls of it. We always I have it in the back because so. we, we, we do a lot of business with the prison institutions. They have craft shops where they do leather work. And so we do offer some of like these kind of weird miscellaneous things that the rest of us are just like, well, just when I go to Walmart, I'll pick them up. But um, inmates don't have that freedom to do that. So we offer kind of little things like packing tape and masking tape and toothbrushes. Reading glasses. <laughs> Reading glasses. <laughs> Hello, Jerry. I'm glad you liked your leather. Thanks for joining us again. Did you go through why you taped the back of it? Is that what we were talking about? We were just talking about tape. Uh, no, I didn't talk about why I taped the back of it, but I'm getting ready to tool this. So uh, this lightweight leather, especially when I tool it, it'll have a tendency to spread and get bigger and misshapen. Yeah, it happens. So I don't want that to happen. Correct. So, so we tape it to prevent as much of that as we can. Yes. Okay. Now, I'm not going to tape the back of this, the liners, because... Uh, well, when Jim was here, too, he talked about using those little pieces of cardboard. Are you going to yeah. cut them out already? Or well, not them? cardboard, but... Uh, contacts or something like that. I don't know. Uh -huh. Oh, he used um, framing mat. Yeah. The back of a framing mat to put on the piece of it so he would get better depth out of it. Oh, right. From those two of Of a lightweight leather. Mm-hmm. You know, everyone you talk to will have a different method of what they do. I don't know if as good as mine. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. No, they're all they're all different, and they all work for whoever's using them, and that's the whole point. Oh, Dean, you make a good point. No adhesive talk here. Denny will need adhesive. We do have some Rinia, probably. Yes, I will need some, but probably not today. Okay, so maybe that's why you didn't bring it. Yeah. Maybe. And, and when I use it, I'll probably use contacts again. Because that's my MO. Is it your MO? Yeah, contacts again. These wash bands are pretty simple. They're they're just small. People have trouble <clears throat> with small things. I am, I am one of them. <laughs> All right. Now then, I've got a tooling pattern all made up here, so I'm gonna. I guess the first thing I have to do is trace my border on there. Dean says, will this be a money watch band? <laughs> yes. I'm going to put money in it. <laughs> I mean, depending on how expensive the watch face is that you make this band for, uh, you know, there could be a lot of money there. Dean, watches get expensive. Yeah. Zero says the audio is scratchy, but maybe it's just us. All right, here we go. Are we set? We are set. You're tracing out the pattern. Yeah, I'm tracing the pattern, yes. You could, you know, I've seen a lot of these old watch bands that they used to make similar to this. I've seen basket weave, all sorts of different stuff. Mm -hmm. So I was, um, I don't often get on social media and just browse. Like, I try to not do that. But last night I got caught up by, um, I found somebody over in France and they did a lot of work. Um, like doing filigree holes, like just like punching holes. 
also imagine, you know, like your wingtip shoes or like those really like awesome Oxford shoes that I'm sure we all have a pair of. I know I have a pair that has like a really cool whole pattern design um, in the toe of the shoe. And they did that on a lot of their uh, leather products. It looks a little too late. I didn't see any too late done, but they did a lot of those whole patterns. And I just thought that it was really unique and, and kind of a fun thing. And maybe that I want to wear to maybe try something like that. No. No, I mean, that's why I keep it on me. It's something similar to that. So I was setting up something to have a microphone on my desk and I ran it through another way so that now I don't sound like I'm across the room. And they can be right up in my face. What's the thoughts on that? Oh, perfect. So I broke the audio everywhere else. Good. Good. All right, hang on. Nope. No. Working on it. It's funny, it's coming through, but it's not. I heard Tony on a second mic. <laughs> Tony's yeah. loud and clear. Yeah. yeah, it's coming through, but it's not sending it to you guys. All right, hang on. Hmm. Well, that's too bad. It doesn't like too... Yeah, but it's not working because... <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't happen because that link is not set up. Okay, hang on. No distracting. Let me delete the... Well, I'll just delete myself. You can't hear anything anymore.
Is it back? It is. It's the, so it's probably the first thing I should have tried. It was the USB cord into the computer is messed up. So I'll have to get a new USB cord for the... It wasn't what I did. It mu I must have just hit something. That's what I'm claiming. <laughs> Hold on. Let me add myself back and see if I can screw it up again. Can they hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Are we back? Just do, pretend like you're doing sign language and then talk and use the voice of the sign language that you're doing. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was great. <laughs> hey, you can hear. Are we good? Huh, thank goodness. Oh, for Pete's sakes. I don't know, Pete. Freaking Pete. Ah, oh, Tony! Jeez, for his sake, don't freak out. Oh, Tony. Tony. Stop, Stop playing, playing with, with your stuff. stuff. Wow. Okay. 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 We're back. Denny, what are we doing? Well, Look, you already finished this one. Well, uh, no, I just got it. Look, guys, we got this one cut. Life. We got this one cut. That's that's <laughs> that's super awesome. Very exciting. Denny, are you gonna machine sew this? Uh, yes. No. -uh. What do you? You're want gonna me to machine do? sew what this. What would you like me to do? We with? should hand sew this. Okay. Yeah. I will hand sew it. Because then that way we have things to do on Friday. Okay. Remember you were worried about okay. that? Okay. That's what we will do. Yeah. We will hand we're, sew this. I'll, I want to hand sew it. All right. You okay. want to. Yeah. Okay. I'm, exactly. I'm pretty good at it. That's exactly what we're thinking. <laughs> All right, you guys. Okay. That was fun. So Denny is. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed that. That was yeah. awesome. We're going to go now. See you, See you later. <laughs> Class four. No. That would look awful. Zero. That would be the worst stitch ever if you try to use a class four. So <laughs> that's up. <laughs> all right. <sighs> Did I get that all out of sorts? No, you're good. Okay. Although Tony's probably gonna have to move his cameras around because I scooted Denny inwards a little bit. I'm not touching anything else or adjusting anything else. I don't play with my stuff over here. <laughs> hey, Justin. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> I told you I moved him. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't listen. I'm gonna oh, make everybody dizzy while oh, we for Pete six. I don't know who this Pete guy is. We don't even have an employee. Name. Which is why it's perfect. Is that Chris is a rule? Can no Yeah, I can't not hire a Pete. No because peach. everything for his sake. Yeah, because then otherwise we would just blame him for everything. <laughs> Ron said it's getting scratchy again. That mic cable is toast. I think that's what we're learning, guys. So if we go out again, we're really sorry, but we're having de technical difficulties. I can mess with it again if you guys want to. Let's not. So there are two pieces of leather that go together. I need to do that so they don't stretch badly. But I'm worried about getting it to fit. Elizabeth, are you talking about getting it to fit over the, like, the buckle end or, like, the watch side of it? Like, is that what you're worried about? What's the question? Um, she said, so there are two pieces of leather that go together. Question, I need to do that so they don't stretch as badly, but I'm worried about getting it to fit. So, uh, but when we, when we start the construction, you only, you only have the one that wraps around. So this top layer is the only layer that actually wraps around yeah, the, um, actually wraps like that. The, the pin that goes in the watch. Yes. Correct. Yes. Yeah. The other layer just comes up underneath. And as far as as far as getting things to fit, if you're worried about two, the two pieces being perfectly together, I generally cut my liners. And if you will see this piece that, uh, how can I show that to you? This piece is actually a little bit wide. Mm -hmm. And after I seam in it and get the liners glued in, I will trim that. So where it's yeah. precise. So yep. it'll fit. Yeah. And then you can take it to a sander, or you can just sand it with a sanding block, yeah. you know, and make make your edges nicer. But yeah, if you try and cut two pieces 
the cement together perfectly, your head's always going to be in a fight. But you can imagine what this leather would be doing if I hadn't taped it. Oh yeah, it'd be squishing all over. Yeah, the as thin as it is. Cleaning up some computers out there. Okay. Now then. Oh, and I. I'm gonna take this little under shot here. Maybe the smaller one. Yes, Tony. When I removed the microphone and deleted all the filters that I had turned on for. Oh. Tony had all of his fancy filter shenanigans to make the sound in this room be perfect, and all those went away. Dean says, "Bye, George. I think you got it." Now, who's George? You're doing it so no one can see. Kind of. There you go. Can That's better. See there. Mm -hmm. Doing a little beveling. Some good old bevels. A bit. Well. Actually, I have quite a bit of beveling to do here. Oh, I forgot. Oh, did you? Hang tight. I got it. It's the uh, the thirty fives. The thirty five. There ought to be three of them. They're okay. right. You know where they are? I think so. Okay. Yeah. Guys that are watching, you might think that this leather is pretty dry, but as long as I'm getting good burnish, dark burnish under my tool mark, it's got enough moisture in it. And I like it to be fairly dry when I bevel anyway. My bevelers seem to move for me a bit better, and I get it much crisper and fresh. Good for you. Yeah, you're very organized with your tools over there. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thank you. Apparently, George is Pete's brother. There's a whole family of them. I don't think we have a George either, so that works. Have you ever? I'm trying to think of. Oh, yeah, I know a George in real life. That's a funny thing. George Canfield. We don't have him. I was trying to think. I was like, do I know a George? But I do. I know. Other than the Canfield. Actually, my wife's maiden name is George. Oh. So I know several. <laughs> and 
her last name. That's not her first name. I assumed. I was pretty sure Mary June was her, her actual name. But, you know, Mary June George. That's a lot. That was her. Mary June George. Mary June George. Huh. Guys, Tony's messing with things. Well, it's still very static. I'm trying to figure out if it's the USB. Because that might fuck me with that for two years. We might just have to start all the on Friday. All right, turn it off. We quit. Well, we'll keep going. Oh, okay. I'm saying. Okay, never mind. I'm not quitting. This is what VHS sounded like. <laughs> I'm not even sure VHS sounded as bad. Oh, so William would like to you to talk about the moisture content of your mother right now. Okay. When I first start, it depends on the project. This is a very small project. With pretty thin leather. Pretty thin leather. It doesn't take much to saturate the leather. And I don't want to saturate it. But I do want to get a pretty good moisture content in it. I would say get enough where it's penetrates probably halfway through the leather to begin with. When I first start a project, that's about how wet I like to get it because it will take me a little while to actually trace the pattern. Right. And then a little while after that to uh, cut the pattern. And by the time I get those two projects done, hopefully it will be dry enough where I can bevel it like I'm doing now with ease. Mm -hmm. If it's too wet, uh, your leather will be mushy and soft and it just doesn't bevel nicely. Uh, if it's too dry, uh, you don't get any burnish out of it. Yeah. You know, it's bordering on being too dry right now, but I'm going to finish uh, this one part with my beveling because I don't have very much left to do. And so, yeah, we first started back in the before all the sound shitty, he did spray a few up water over here and did spray his pieces um, after he cut them out. After he taped them before he cut them out. Some people, like Jim Linnell and Kevin, they like to use just a little pan of water and a sponge to wet their leather. And that's fine. However, you need to do it. But the only way to figure out how much water you need on your leather is to do a bunch of times. Now I'm going to wet this. I'm going to wet both pieces again. When you wet a piece of leather, wet the whole thing. That's right. Don't just wet part of it. Nobody wants watermarks. But I'm going to, the reason I'm wetting both pieces is because I don't want to wet one any more than the other because every time you wet it, it dries back out. And wet it, it dries back out. It doesn't change the color of it. Mm -hmm. So if you... If you keep them both at about the same moisture content all the time, they they cover about the same. Gotcha. Hopefully, hopefully that's oh, the hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. We just let entertain for a minute. We're gonna lose sound again. We're gonna go back to sound film and see if I can change the score. All right, guys. Sure. If I do anything. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah.
because it's too wet. Uh oh. Oh hey. So we can wait. We can just I, let it sit here while I, no one can hear us. They can hear you now. Oh, they well, can hear us now. Are we back? I don't know. I'm gonna listen to it and see if it sounds any better. You're back. Yes. We back. I don't know if it sounds any better. Dude, little fear got what I was doing. You, you know what's up. Can you hear us now? I think we removed sound the without static. Okay, cool. Denny took a break. Uh, well, he's he's trying it out. It was too wet, and it was squishing, and he didn't like it. So, but are you feeling better now? It's, well, it's still pretty damp, but I'm gonna just be careful. Okay. I was almost going to write you guys a note that said Denny can't continue because it's too wet. And then I was going to put it right here and, and tell you guys. <laughs> I was on a mission, but then Tony fixed it. <laughs> I'm not prepared for that. I need a, I need more paper. My pad only has one piece of paper left. And then, like, a really bold Sharpie. Hey, guys. Man, I've missed so many opportunities for my Hey Guys intro. Like, I've had, like, five of them today as we keep coming and going. <laughs> hey, Tony, how did the Hey Dudes come out? Has she worn them? Yeah, yeah she, she has. has. So she likes them. She does. Yeah, we, we didn't, didn't use, use the... the um, little tabs, tabs that, that we made because two, two of them, them were backwards. backwards yeah you made the tabs backwards Denny. the oh. hair had to go down the tabs oh i am so so sorry. two of them were correct and then two of them were backwards it was just a minor mistake that's all uh, did you have the the originals that you used or do you just not use tabs now oh no, i think they sell the originals back on. yeah Josh, what movie were you watching? Was it a good movie? Is it one that we should all watch? I did enjoy the new Top Gun. I did. I still haven't even seen the new Top Gun. Tony. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I love Is it the still in theaters? Because it, it was in theaters for a long time. Now it's out of theaters and I can go watch it <laughs> at my house. Oh. I went and saw it in the IMAX because that's where I felt like it needed to be viewed. And I feel like I was correct. Like $60 well spent. <laughs> mm, Denny, I really love this, this view right here. Do we have any other views that are better than this? I don't, I don't think so. It's okay. If you want to move cameras around there to your left and to your right, Liz. Thanks, Anthony. No problem. I guess it does give me reverb because it's picking me up on both microphones. Ooh, The Man in the Iron Mask. That's a good book. Have you read the book? I'm a, I'm a book reader, so that's... The part where he's in prison is, is quite exhausting. And then there's a the part where he goes to that party, which is also just... It's a lot to read. It's a very long and drawn out section of the book. But it's a good book. I really enjoyed it. Make Probably not. No, he said it's an old movie, but good. The Leonardo DiCaprio. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, it's a good movie. It's a good movie. <laughs> Have you never seen that before? No. What? Yeah, that's a great movie. Yeah, that's a true story. <laughs> it was cool. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's an old movie. Well, I'm old. <laughs> really far to go Elizabeth for an IMAX movie. I also probably would not do that very often if I lived two hours away. Drive 
Marvel. Mm-hmm. Does Carthage still? Springfield used to have one. Yeah. And then it closed down for a long time, and then they opened it up for like a year. And they remembered why they closed it because they couldn't make any money from it, so they closed it again. I went to. A, I've been to a drive-in once. Maybe we saw like a Transformers or something. I don't remember. That's probably what I saw at the movie theaters too. I, I mean, at the drive-in. Yeah. Transformers. There's a princess in it. On from drive-ins, oh, moved they, on. like, like, <laughs> like it became it became difficult to go to them. Now I get so I don't feel like we're sheltered. We just missed that. We missed out on it. Yes, you did. You, you did. guys, your generation failed at keeping them going, so that our generation no, failed. Your generation them. quit going. <laughs> That's the truth. I can vouch for. I don't go. Yeah, I once again I've been to a drive-in once, and it was hot. So there's sweaty. A, there's and, a new. Uh, don't remember. There's a new update for the broadcast encoder that I used for streaming videos. Is there? It's the biggest update yet. Uh huh. So we're going to do that this afternoon. So we'll see how tomorrow goes. See if we can't break all the video and audio again for tomorrow. I thought we were going to plan our, our leather t today for tomorrow. We're not going to do that. You're going to try to do that too? Yeah, it just updates. The update doesn't take long. Unless it breaks. like orange at all. That's right, Zero. Everything is fine. Ooh, we're bar grounding. Can you see it? Kind of. Can we can we where zoom can, in on the top one? Where can I go to? I know you are. Hey, can you pause the bar grounding for just one moment? I can tell you that you're probably gonna have to go like right there. Can you tool right there? <laughs> we'll see. All right. I can do a tool anywhere. You can tell me. You want you want closer than that? Don't move. Give Denny back problems today. Sorry, Mary. You're giving mind problems. <laughs> better. You can hear me, so we got audio. That means. Let's see, that just happens to me. <laughs> Stuff moves. <laughs> just remember, I'm not a contortionist. I can't. Jim did. It's like, I don't normally tool in this funky fashion, but just so we can get it on camera. <laughs> well, good for Jim. Got an idea. I'll be quiet. And, yeah, no, so. instead of hinting at stuff, why don't you just tell me to move the dad gum dead weight? <laughs> I did. I, I just did it in my own little way. It's got to be your way or the highway, Denny. Because I'm, that's the way I am. You can... That's messed up everything this whole video. I got... No, we're not wearing clip on mics. There's a mic right here. That's that's what's picking us up. 
You wouldn't want clips on bikes. We would never get Kevin in here. Yeah, they're terrible. We tried that for a while. It was awful. Uh, let's see here. So I think we actually, we could talk about the project. Uh, Little Fear, Heath, right? Yep. Yeah. Um, he would like to know how you determined the length of the end. Uh, well, I made this. If you go to Walmart and buy a watch, uh -huh. there's only one size watch band. Okay. Especially a, a buckle up type. And that's about what I made this. And this will fit 90% of men. Uh, it won't fit you. We did you, try it. You tried yours on. It's too big for you. I was in the last one. <clears throat> I would say wrap a, a cloth tape around your wrist mm -hmm. and determine it from there, you know. Uh, the center hole, you probably want to leave about two inches from the center hole, the hole that you would buckle into to the, the tip. Is that what we got? <laughs> it's okay. Let's see here. Yeah, just about. Yeah. 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 Well, mm. Wait, that back? Yeah, I'm two inches here from from the hole that I would actually plan on buckling it to till the tip. Okay. No. Low. Hey, moved it out of frame again. No. Hey, I was trying to answer a question. This was a legitimate move. Okay. There you go. Um, and, but then also the, the top layer of the watch band is four to five ounce leather and then the bottom of the watch band will be two to three ounce. And that's uh, optional too if you want something a little heavier. Yep. Practice ones I did, I made too light. Yeah, that's pretty thin. Compared to this one. Yep. So these are Denny's two. A lot of people still wear a watch. I mean, way people. I feel like more people are wearing a watch now than they have in the past because all the smartwatches started coming out, like what five years ago or whatever it was. And so now you have a lot of people that are wearing their smart watches, which you can make a leather band for. Yeah. And for it's not a long quite time, sporty, but people quit wearing watches at all because they have their cell phone. Yeah. Now the cell phone is on your wrist. So we're wearing watches yeah. again. <laughs> I have a wooden watch that I like. I, I used to wear it pretty frequently and I have not. I think I've seen that before. Mm -hmm. Put us in the bottom corner in the opposite one. There we go. That's, yeah, that's good. Perfect. Uh, he collects watches. He has almost 50. Wow. That's a lot of watches. You know, like those fancy uh, little cubbies that like spin and wind your watches. Do you collect those kind of watches? I feel like that could be even like an even more expensive hobby than Legos, which is quite expensive. I mean, I spend way more on Legos than I do on leather, but that's because I make like a knife sheath a quarter. A really old Singer sewing machine, so leather, the ones in the 30s and 40s. Um, they'll probably sew lightweight leather as long as you have a leather needle. So if it's just like a home sewing machine, you can go to your local, uh, like Joann's or whatever it is that you have that's local, whatever sewing 
fabric store you've got. And they probably have, we sell them here. There's a little pack of um, leather home sewing machine needles. They just have a cutting point instead of a round point to cut the leather. They don't go very thick. You could probably sew this on a home sewing machine. But this would probably be about the most that it would sew unless you're working with like thin upholstery leathers, things like that. Uh, yeah, you just can't go very thick. Sometimes you might have to help it, like depending on how much torque it has. I don't know, some of those old machines, they have, a, they have quite a bit of power because they were just like built really well. Just, <laughs> it's because they're old. They're a bunch of metal parts instead of plastic parts. It just... Back up. We're good. Yeah, if you just stay here with the thingy down here, then you're perfect. That's perfect. It's if perfect. I can work my tool that direction. Okay. Step there. Yeah, heavy duty, but it needs to be a leather needle. Like that's very important because leather needles have a cutting point. They have a spear cutting point on the end of them. So even if it's like a heavy duty fabric needle, that's still not going to do it. Um, because it's not a cutting tip. You have to cut through leather. You don't want to cut through fabric because then you're going to cut the fibers and that's not happy. You have to cut through leather. Probably sew five to... I mean, there's no there's no reason to not try it. So if you only have one layer of five to six ounce, you should be, you should be good. Um, but once again, you'll need that cutting needle because a, a blunted tip is not going to go through the leather. Eight to nine ounces might be might be pushing it. I mean, you can try if it if it sews, it sews. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But <laughs> like, I don't. Yeah, you could try. I think the easier you take it, you know, if you have to turn each stitch over by hand. Yeah. If you just try and rip through something, it's gonna touch the machine. Ooh. No punch lines getting taxed. That's right. But we all like roads and schools, so, you know. It was a joke. Like, <laughs> <laughs> machine getting taxed, but I see that. Pressing strain is Yeah. Walmart does sell beehives. Does SLC sell? They sell those? what? Beehives? We have a beekeeper who works in the shop. We, we do have a beekeeper. If anybody needs their bees kept in their local, <laughs> we <laughs> got a guy. Yeah. Um, no, we don't sell headstones, Dean. We just sell small granite slabs. Sm miniatures. Yeah. We sell miniatures. You could. Miniature you could, headstones. Carve whatever you want into that for your Barbie dolls. Yeah, I'm sure they'll fit in the backpacks that, um, um, Darylin. No, it's Darylin. Yeah, yeah, the backpacks that Darylin, if she's still on Facebook, I'll learn out to your, to your coffins there. Yeah, you can put Barbie in Darylin's backpacks and then put them under your grand slab. There you go. That's our, that's that for today. what all the challenges were going to be. And then I was like, oh, I could add a microphone since I'm so far away. And then I end up screwing that up. Did you used to be Larry's scroll saw works and now you're Henry's because there's too many Larry's that is that what's happening here? Whack-a, whack-a-mole. Yeah. Because I also broke that, so I have to I have to <laughs> click it. <laughs> Will never happen. Dean, appreciate. I, Dean, I assume you're laughing at my Barbie burial. Oh. So 
myself laugh every now and again. So that that's nice. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Denny. <laughs> You are making comments on Facebook. I can't see them because nobody's clicked the new comment button. There are 15. Okay. Over, over, over. Keep going. Keep going. You got a ways to go. Keep going. Stop. Down. Back over the other way a little bit. And then up just a tad. Up a little bit more. There you go. Nope. Oh, down. There you go. Click. Okay. There it is. Oh, the last comments were like nine minutes ago where the sound was going bad again. So, alrighty. Just here. Okay. Just Larry. I have to remember that Henry is Larry. I will give that my best shot. Dean's question there. This is a miniature Western belt for your wrist. It's a Western belt, belt, for, belt nope. for your wrist. Gaming. After gaming. That's fun. Does not sound like you do leather work at all, but I suppose that's probably maybe not what your Twitch account is for. Or your YouTube. That's YouTube. I have too many. There's too many. Uh, they make watch brands regularly, and let's see here. They do an 120-80 split, so 120 millimeters being the tallest end and 80 millimeters being the buckle end. That fits the majority of wrists. 120 millimeters on your long side, 80 millimeters on your buckle side. That's it. That's where we're at. I don't think I have a millimeter ruler in here. Can you put a watch strap on any watch? Uh, not necessarily. But it comes with a metal band and has teeth. I mean, Angela, it's going to depend on how the watch strap disconnects from the watch face, I think. If you can get the strap off of the watch face, then you can make a new strap. But if you struggle to get the strap off or it's not easily, it'll depend on how it's connected to the watch face. That's, if you send us a picture, we could probably say yay or nay. But ideally, there's gonna be like a little pin side here where these pins go across here. So depending on the type of face that you have will determine whether or not you can put a, cause you'll, you'll put your own buckle on it. So the fact that it's got those metal teeth that dig in, like that's not going to work on leather. That's not going to be, but you could put a different buckle. Doing some decorative cuts. That's fun. Do we carry needles for the old singers? Um, if it's a standard kind of flatbed sewing machine, it should fit our home sewing machine needles. So we've got like a pack from... Is it... Is it... Yeah, however you say it. Go ahead. Try it. Schmitz? No, it's not Schmitz. I, it's... John, is it John B? No, it's not John B. Who's the, what's, it's like a, it's a dude's name. And we sell a bunch of like, a bunch of our sewing needles. Um, our, our beading, like the beading needles come from that brand. But at, for the life of me, I cannot remember it right now. Boom. We're done. It looks super done. I 
I will. It's going to be Won't great. You? I will. Yeah, I'm going to hand sew it. It's going to be yeah. awesome. So we will. John yeah, John James. Thank you. I was that's like, right. John Adams was stuck in my head, but I was like, that's our customer. And I really don't think that that's right. <laughs> so yeah, the John James needles. It's like a little pack. I think there's like a 14, a 16, and an 18 sizes in it. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that those are the sizes. It could be a 12, 14, and a 16. It's three sets of those numbers. Um, and they, they fit in your standard home sewing machine, which really has not changed in a long time. So yeah, we do, we sell that. There's always going to be an exception to the rule. <laughs> yeah. Does this go together? It looks kind of like a piece on the right. How does this go together? All right. So this side is this side and then this side. These, yeah, these will fold, buckle here, and then we have liners that will go on the back of them, and then you sew around the perimeter. <clears throat> so we will finish construction on Friday, and then we will hand sew it all up. Um, we got some pretty cool buckles from the buckle guy for these. We don't, we don't carry like a great watch band buckle, so I apologize in advance for that. We will start looking at some. Um, but that, yep, yeah, so we got a buckle from the buckle guy that is similar to that style. Same, I'm not sure. But, yep, so this will go together, get lined, and then this side over here and will be lined. So we will do that on Friday. Like Denny said, he's going to go ahead and antique it, which the steps to that is you spray finish on it, which Denny likes to use quick shine. That's mm -hmm. what he's going to use. He's going to spray some quick shine on it, and then he will antique it with whatever color. Do you know what color you're going to use yet? Huh. No. This is dark brown. That's sad. I think that's, I think Fair. this is mahogany. Oh, okay. So I might use Sheridan Brown. So we we'll, like Sheridan Brown. I do. I do. Oh. I like, I like Sheridan Brown. So we'll um, antique it with Sheridan Brown and then we will let that dry and pray, spray another finish on it. And yeah. then it'll be ready to go on yeah. Friday. Friday, we will cement it together and trim it all up and you will stitch it. I will stitch it. Sorry for all the sound issues, but we made it through. You know, Razor Blades did have a comment up there. He's like, I've never heard of this watch band. Are they a metal band? They're more of a ballad. Uh, most of their songs uh, run right about 60 beats per minute. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Razor Blades. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I got. <laughs> <laughs> all righty, folks. Well, today was fun and interesting they're, and many things. They're a military band. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's on that military time. Yeah. Oh. All righty, folks. Have a wonderful rest of your day. We will continue on Twitch for the after party and show you guys some of the leathers that we will have available tomorrow on our live sale on Facebook at 2 p.m. Central Time. And then we'll be back on Friday at 11, 11.02, whenever we get here um, to complete the watch band. <laughs> we'll be here when we get here. We'll be here when we get here. Have a great rest of your week, and we'll see you soon. See you, folks. Bye.